very warm. So it grew up there. I don't know if I'm getting it. Not sure how much the mic will pick up, but it's there. You're on. Get what the government's in. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some uh, Boston cup luck. Mm. I've got some for you to take home. Mm. Beef. My my one smoke actually the Ooh, oh, nice. The other one first because it looks like the right, thing is not that. properly sealed. Uh, the bag? 1792. Well, I've got some of that. I've got plenty of 1792. Did I put it in there or not? Because I got two. One for me and one for you, so it might be here. No, you keep it. I've got All right, okay, so the, the full Virginia, I'm sure, is sealed. Yeah. But this both look to me a little bit loose. So I don't know. Oh, you got tape. Oh, I see, it's the original. Yeah, seat. yeah, you know the, the new the thing, thing they do. They do. You can you can feel it. Yeah, you know, it's. I, I've heard this I've one is, is proper. The seal is strong. It's Wait, it's strong. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's but I took I took it off my last order because it said Lakeland and I didn't know if I'd write. No, it's uh, I mean if you compare it to 1792 or to Enerdale, it's nothing like that. It's very subtle. Mm -hmm. Is this your first time being here? When's the last time? It was 1989 when I dropped the open. No, you can say it's first time. Mm -hmm. It's changed so much. <laughs> yeah. Should we go around the table just for the benefit of the camera? Do you want to start? Say hi. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Ian. Robert. I'm Venin. I've forgotten my name. Simon. But I'm Simon too. But actually, I'm John. Is that Simon the second? I'm Simon the second. <laughs> I'm asking you a question. Mm -hmm. In your emails, you always write an E at the end of my name. Is that just the T? You're calling me Simone? Yes. Cool. That's what I'm going to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> my wife, we talk. <laughs> oh, you mean like a Spring Jackson? Mm. Yeah, yeah. No, Spring Jackson's is a uh, tool, isn't it? And I went, round, I, I went round the boss's house with her. And he had these photos. One of them was in sort of like a weird looking, almost German. And of course, he was like, oh, I thought, that's it. And he said, Can you read that? It was you, you should And I said, Yeah. And he said, Wow. And I said, Well, it's sort of like a bit like German. Yeah, mm. so. Out of interest, which you might not know, one of the Viking sagas is actually translated into Yiddish. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but it is considered a West Germanic language. Right. Well, it's, it is. It's based in Germany. It's a bit of Polish, but when I lived in Stamford Hill, my wife and I we used to sit on the bus and listen. And the 253. Say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you, yeah, you can understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's basically, a, it's a mix of uh, German and just um, local vernacular of Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. that, that's basically, it's a mix of that, really. It's, uh, which I was brought up on, so I understand it fluently. Well. So no Hebrew in there. It's just all Germanic, is it? It's, there's, there's no in the original Yiddish. There wouldn't be much Hebrew, but there's. So I'm going to try that one. Hmm, what was the, the name? Because uh, the, the New Minster 403, maybe. Uh, 
the people who would have spoken it would have studied uh, the Old Testament yeah. and the Talmud. Yeah. And all. So there'll be a lot of that mixed into it. Oh, probably uh, English. Yeah. Nowadays in America, if you were to go to Brooklyn, for instance, it's like English. It's like half Yiddish, <laughs> half English. Ah, right, and it's, right. it's actually really quite funny to listen to. I know a lot of Sikhs, and I asked them once, and they said there is a big difference now. There's sort of like an English version of it, but a lot of slang, and you know, because it's wherever you live, it's going to get an influence, you know. Yeah. So you hear a lot of the English, the, the Indian comedians, when they, they take the Mickey of themselves <laughs> and they talk about that's they'll take the Mickey of their mother speaking in in in, India, in Indian or whatever the the language is, but mixing it in with English words. It's the same kind of. You know, it becomes a, a homogenized kind of language, you know. They all, the other thing I find strange, and I never get a straight answer for them, whenever they use money, they always go into English, even though they've got words for numbers and that. And I thought that's weird, because my wife would always do that in German. Everything else she did in English, but it was so primal. If you got money, you could hear her going, and it, you know, in this weird Austrian slang. So, she, so I wonder why they don't do that. Odd, but some things you can't get an answer, and that's one of the things I've asked. Maybe it could, it could be because I mean, this is a, maybe one or two people who may not have made a purchase yet, and may be planning to make a purchase. I've been from yesterday. Yes. Yeah. So it needs to be purchased on the purchased on the day. All right. That's we will purchase. Do not worry. Okay. Have no fear. He'll pick me out a Cuban cigar. Before. Yeah, no problem. Done. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I should have made it clear yesterday. It's all right. Don't worry. No we'll... drinks. Yeah. And did you? I don't. Have you made a purchase? No, I will. I will on the way down. I will. Okay. It's just my manager's just saying that. Yes. Ideally, I'm people... aware. That's fine. Okay. All right. I'm going to come down in a minute. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. I wouldn't Thank want you. him having a coronary, <laughs> <laughs> especially in a place like this. So. <laughs> thank you, thanks. Cheers. Alright, hey. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scan the camera around and I want you to just be staring at it me to tell. I just I'm not a mean person. I know. That's difficult. We're all good people. <laughs> just stare at it and then I'll go back. I'll pretend I'm on stage with my no, bag. Y'all keep, oh. keep talking, but you're the one staring at the camera. Where were we, sorry, where were we saying from? You were explaining about why possibly the Sikhs use English when they count, I think. Oh yeah, so it could well be that, from an Indian point of view, is that a lot of the education <laughs> came from the English. Right. Originally, you know, in, in uh, what's the name times, in uh, colonial times. Let's not be too loud about that. The Raj, yes. yeah. Yeah, so that, that um, could be that a lot of that stems from that. Could be, yeah. Uh, also, you notice the educated ones do throw in a lot of English as a sort of way of saying, look at me, I know some English. Because, of course, you know, it's all a caste thing over there, isn't it? So it still is, yeah. It's uh, sadly... It's a big problem at the moment, the RSS and that, they get in power, you know, the sort of nationalists, it's uh, sort of worrying. Maybe you do. I mean, I know they're not my team, but I do worry about the world at the moment. It's, it's, uh, it's a real need to get it. There's a lot to worry about, isn't there? It's a little bit nastier, I think, in our country than Europe. Because when I bought it, it was mm. moist. It was so moist. Well, you said it was very, very dry. Put some moisture yeah, on there. I have obviously friends of mine. I've got friends all over the place in America, from Georgia right through to Seattle. Just the right media, though. Mm -hmm. Not just the media pushing them. No, you have one media for one group and one media for the other group. And so they just get whatever they need. Oh my God. It's very spicy, this. Dojo cream? Any, any Beric? No, the Mr. I think there's a little bit of Beric in there. A lot of people used to say that, yes, Minister, was very prophetic. You know, you see political um, situations repeating themselves. <laughs> and you watch Homeland and you see that. Yeah. And that's very prophetic as well. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> Very it's much so. Absolutely. Yeah, it's it arguable how fictional some of these things are. I think, you know, I think the real life is probably worse than what they depict. All the scheming. <laughs> they, it's like, this, this like reality followed the script of Homeland. It's crazy. 
And a lot of the world does go that way. A lot of science, for instance. You know, all the all the Star Trek stuff mm. 50 years ago, which people thought was stupid, you know, looking at a screen on your wrist or something. What are the Jetsons? You all have the watch the Jetsons? Mm. You all have that here? What, the uh, cartoon? Cartoon, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And everything that they did in that cartoon is... Reality. It's the flying cars. Except for <laughs> flying cars. So we all have the flying cars. Well, when I was a teenager, I used to be mad into car magazines and stuff. I still am to some extent. Um, there was a guy... I don't know why they got my, they got my name, or maybe I even wrote in, I'm not sure. But there was a guy looking for what was probably a very, very early version of crowdfunding to uh, develop a flying car. And they had very glossy magazines printed up. And I don't know if it was a scam there, or not. There are some around, aren't there? Yeah, there must be. There yeah. are some yeah. flying yeah. cars. Yep. I'm sure they're in Dubai. There mm -hmm. are. This is real like flowery. It smells it. <laughs> it smells like granny pants. <laughs> granny pants? Granny pants. <laughs> granny <laughs> underpants. Oh, good. Yeah. For you. Yeah. That's a Latakira. <laughs> no, no it's, it's late. late then. <clears throat> You, you think about flying cars, or I think the technology's not the problem, but how could it work? Yeah, you, how would the, the roadways be? I mean, let's face it, half of them can't drive. It'd be a nightmare. You'd have, to, you'd have to have something set up in the car where you're at this certain altitude or whatever, and you can't leave that out. Yeah, I think it would all be down to AI. Yeah, like these uh, driverless cars, it would be the same kind of thing. Did you hear that poor Tesla that crashed into the aeroplane yeah. when it was being summoned? <laughs> <laughs> destroyed this multi-million pound uh, uh, aircraft, light aircraft. Oh, okay. Alright, I better go make a purchase. I'm going to get you a cigar. Oh, Here, God. Don't, don't I have to buy it? Yeah. Let's get something. And, uh, yeah, they have a point. I agree with you. But, uh, well, the point of London is having a problem meeting here because of this story. And they weren't making enough money for it. So they, they now want several hundred more every time we meet. And of course, I've been coming here for 25 years now, we never know. Never just purchase for it, just come straight in. Even when this wasn't. No. So I know. This used like to be it. offices and the toilets used to be just here. Is the um, office here, office here. Mm. Um, but I think it's six okay. Okay. Yeah. And That's the. Yeah. Twin downhill. It's because it's so rare. And if you've got it's the really present from really uh, Stonehenge Mistral, it's, a, it's a future one. I cool. can hear that. It's an amazing bike. Yeah, nice. But I don't use it's it. Very nice. It's a lovely gift. Very nice. It looks I like the classic, more classic shape. Yeah. I've got a 9mm yeah. um, downhill Dublin shape. Well, let's look at that. Actually, I bought it new, which is probably the most. Yesterday, I bought a bunch of stuff. That doesn't count. But anyway. I thought you just grabbed some tobacco. No, no. I, I, Simon, oh, you've got, you've got a cigar. Right? Sorry about the cigar. We both got a couple of, uh, of the uh, 1930. My right. cigar is bigger than his. Of course it is. <laughs> 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 Only way to do it. He's bigger, better, and I'm talking cigars here, by the way, lads. <laughs> no, no sort of. Uh, this actually gets better because it sits for a while. Do you smoke like this generally? No. Right. Unless you count. They are quite different. Yeah. Bob's chocolate. You, you, flake, I like it. Yeah, that's better. Ian Messer. I've actually I've tried it in the English market. I've actually enjoyed it. Well, uh, on the pack here. Quite strong on the neck. No, it's not. Yeah. It looks yeah. like it. It doesn't quite enjoy that. It's not, that. not as strong. No, it has. It's, uh, uh, just an Amazon purchase. To me, but it's a really good uh, low stuff. No way, it could be. Essence. My father, my late father, would have loved that Dunhill story. He would have oh, yeah? absolutely loved it. That's all he smoked with Dunhill. So, so you went around the corner. Other than the other Downs, is there any other Lakeland? Have you seen? Have you seen the Nakami Nakamika boat? Did you see that in there? In there was there one on display? I don't know. You know the one that says one twenty grand. The one with the hand painted mm. Japanese yeah. painting on it. Mm. Mm. It's got the like If you like Ender though, you probably like the grass painted yeah. yeah. or uh, oh, well, brown yeah. flake or yeah. Japanese style. Oh, I might have. He kept pulling pipes out and put them on this little yeah. thing. He's like, I have to see the right now. Brown flake, I want to tell. Yeah, no. 
Spurs. Nice, yeah. Nice. Uh, that's what I had. It's it's kind of a darkish Virginia. <laughs> On the retro. Oh, he's going to be wearing a yarmulke. Back, I, I taste. It's not a juice. It's not a juice. Yes, yes. Yeah, there is something so like so that. So how long yeah. does it take for you to drive yeah. from where you are to here? No, that's Boston Cup Luck. It's been a long time since I've been here. <laughs> so all the videos you've done were here. Uh, the club videos are here. Yeah, I'll just remind you. I love this one. That's usually enough for you to find interesting. There's something strange I had when I was popping down. So, Munich. Is it? Can I take a photo of it? Yeah, back on that we smoke, but there's another branch of it which American Indians use, I think. And it's, anyway, it was snow. <laughs> so which, uh, I forget which um, state I'm in. This is a fire cure. Basically, in dark cured you know, Virginia. So maybe a little bit of a It's mostly the I'm not trying to like Virginia. It's straight from the being told about They grew up Virginia flavor. They grew up Virginia It's very great. Virginia, they do come. They're very different. They're very different. From one Virginia to another, you have steaks now. So bigger I gap than I remember I went from a certain uh, Virginia uh, to uh, even the other place. They are so uh, different. I just remember it lasts so long. You can't compare <laughs> a bright a lot of speech in Virginia but mm. with, with the darker light. That's different. That is, this is, is not a cross between Virginia. 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 If she didn't like something, yeah, no, she said it's the for a few years. It's still a big thing in the States. The mm -hmm. tobacco chewing, but they still chew another thing. Full Virginia. Yeah. It's kind of. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I, I, I do what I cut the brown. It's really sweet, sweet, sweet on the back of the tongue. Yeah. Yeah. The Scandinavians have one. It's like in a tea bag. And as, as I said, it in there. It's trying to. It's snooze and it's cool. There's snooze in them now. They just have nicotine patches. It's and I bought one I bought some yesterday because a lot of times when I'm at home I'll just get one of those because it's clean. Like it might bring yes. a bit more and it's like three milligram at home, the one I got here. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't yeah. notice. Yeah. 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 But this one is... Yeah. I've got a high yeah. nicotine yeah. intake. I'm just like, I can't look at my phone. I have a case of cases. I don't think that's the first case of cases. I think they've been fermented with that. I've never... Because it's a very direct way to imbibe mm. uh, nicotine. Because mm. it goes straight through your membrane in your mouth. That's why I mentioned it many times in my videos is that when you're smoking, either cigar or tobacco is not to drink alcohol. Because the alcohol strips away your mucus in the mouth. No, yeah. No, you don't agree. Not a, well, yeah, but in Tennessee, is that the study? It, it doesn't happen in Tennessee. Is that, Tennessee. Study, <laughs> is that a study with cancer and the correlation? That kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Tennessee, we have a. Uh, it's actually made in Nashville. It's called Copenhagen. It's like a smokeless tobacco, real fine, and it almost looks like the stuff you put up your nose, but it's loose tobacco. And it has allegedly has fiberglass in it. Oh come on! You know, <laughs> that gets the nicotine in you like instantly. You take a dip of it, and all of a sudden you're just feeling great. Well, I show you what's the best. Did you bring the snow? Chewing tobacco. Mm. So you can chew in tobacco. Yeah. I mean, in my opinion, I can't get yeah. better than that. The Irish twist. Is that a bogey? It's a big tail. <laughs> it's the, uh, it's called, they call yeah. it Irish bogey. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. really? The bogey is uh, slightly <laughs> thicker than that. Right. That's the pig tail. So it's uh, it's very dense. Yeah. Did you burn any of the nose? No? I just, okay. you just, you just cut it and cut a small slice. And you place it in. And you place it under your lip like uh, they do with snus. Okay. But this is a pure tobacco. Yeah. And it's uh, I think it has olive oil okay. and probably a bit of salt. Yeah, but it's, it's very pleasant, very yeah. pleasant, very so pleasant. You get. Very earthy. It's not. I mean, so you're not really doing it for the flavor. It's just a, a whacking. No, no, it, it's for the flavor. I mean, I don't. To be honest, I've never had a nicotine kick with pipe. I used to smoke right. cigarettes, and I know, I know the difference. You know, when you <laughs> inhale, when you have the head spin, I don't get it Ooh. in pipe. I don't get it. The only time I've had it is. Uh, if I hadn't oh. had any breakfast and I smoked on the bookshop, it'll, okay. it'll get you a little. Yeah. Well, 1792 is stronger yeah. than that. 
Sometimes, sometimes if I haven't eaten and I start the day with a cigar, sometimes I'll get a mm -hmm. yeah, you feeling in the pit of your stomach, you know? Yeah. Before I go green and then I start eat something. I had it in Nottingham at a pipe smoking competition. I came fourth and there were only three prizes. I've never come anything remotely like it. But afterwards, the whole world was, was, was... Oh my God, God. there was only three of us. It was strong tobacco. And it was like an hour, I did an hour and five minutes or something like that. Oh, I've never gone that long. It was a pity because the prizes were really yeah. nice. Oh, and yeah. 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 I've only been in one slow smoke competition, which is weird. Yeah. They had a representative from Peterson over with some pipes, mm. and they gave out three Peterson pipes as the prizes. I came in third with 48 minutes. I got a long church warden. Which, uh, I couldn't smoke because it wasn't filthy. But it was, uh, it was, it was nice. I had, you had to have a pizza and pipe. That was it. Yeah. And the tobacco wasn't very nice. And I remember that. I did feel a bit. If you are not enjoying the tobacco, it's going to be hard to keep it going. If you can, if you can do a slow smoking competition and smoke black like Irish twist. You're the best pipe smoker in the world. Well, you're probably not going to win, but you, no. you can. You can. It doesn't stay good. It I can't keep depends. It depends. It depends how you pack it. Or obviously oh, pack it wrong. Even this one, the pigtail, I've smoked it a number of times, but you gotta chop it very fine, like a like a shack. It's very densely rubbed, so if you don't rub it out, it's not gonna burn well. So I need you to. Uh, I'm gonna push this button and you're gonna say hi. Uh, Bar Blues is on here. Alright, what is it? Telegraph. Hey everybody, how's it going? <laughs> uh, Doug's on there, Chad's on there. You have to add me on it. I don't know what it is. What's the software? Which Telegram. 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 This is Boston Cup. You're welcome to try. Yeah. What is it? Like a WhatsApp group? Telegram. Yeah. Yeah. Like a WhatsApp group. Telegram, all the dodging people out there. Uh, it's it's a yeah, black like signal. It's extremely secure. It has open source. Oh, right. So you'll find, yeah, there's some right dodging people who use it. I use signal myself. Clothes is the main. Yeah, it's like a clothes. He's right, there is a bit of a celery. I can't taste the clothes. You can't taste the clothes. No, really? Like what? You to me, it. it's. Um, you have to go in a small pub. But if you're in a large pub, you can't smoke. In a small pub, you can. And it's. Uh, like I say, in Germany, I was smoking all the time in clubs and everything. No one cared. Yeah, I wonder how long that's going to last, though. I mean, Germany still is the. Smoking haven, but I so don't know how you, can still? you can smoke cigarettes in the soccer stadium at Italy. Okay. So yeah. many of them smoke. I mean, but I don't know if anybody yeah. smokes more than the, than the uh, Japanese. Yeah. Yes. What, cigarettes? Cigarettes. Really? Everybody. It's bizarre because they normally see them as the healthiest food. Yeah, in the yeah. World. <laughs> they eat healthy food, but they smoke cigarettes continuously. Wow. And they have the, the oldest, show don't they have the oldest people going, going that live quite dead. It has more to do with the diet, probably. Could be, yeah, a lot of food. It's all mellowing in itself. It's kind of, it's mellow. And you don't, don't mostly get tongue they're bite from that tobacco. They're thin, Never. aren't they? I don't think I've ever had tongue bite. You know, large so. Japanese, well, right, apart from. The obvious well, song perhaps I'm just the, the bright I imagine uh, they must have a special diet because they really yeah. are big. Like, uh, I, don't, I think they also don't have such a great longevity, do they? Probably they not. They're quite no. young. Some reasons. Some reasons. They cannot be. They cannot be. Amazing. I love watching some of them. Yeah. Yeah, it is incredible. I never thought I'd have a pipe looking like this, but it's... Yeah, um, Josh, pipe run. Loves panel pipes. He does he? Loves square shank panel pipes. So anytime you want to get rid of that, <laughs> take it off your hands. I'm still trying but to make my mind pipe. up. It's not my pipe, so it doesn't matter. But I'm still trying to make my mind up if I like it or not. It's different <coughs> and it's See, interesting. See, I didn't think I liked it when I first saw it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm in London. <laughs> I'm just going to do something totally different. Than... I saw today. I saw a rat trees, um, a horn shaped pipe, and I've seen things like that on. Line and I've just never liked them, but 
it's, apart from it was too small, it looked not. And it held the door warm part, it looked smooth. And they get the green right, that's something. No, this, this, really it, this was rusticated. Right, it, it right. wasn't particularly expensive. And then you really got the light machine. Yeah, yeah it was really nice. the light machine. I find them to be not as practical for smoke and to hold and that kind of thing. I mean, the, the billiard and something like that, I say, is always going to be the simplest thing to hold and to smoke. But you know, the, the fancy pipes like the Ramses I did recently. Mm. It's a beautiful pipe, but it's probably not the most practical pipe to hold. You know, it looks so, uh, when when you brought it out, I thought, ooh. But then, as you were showing it, and, and you thought, because I, I, I'm a clown. No, so I, I did shape it so that it wouldn't be comfortable, because you have some of them where they're literally straight up, but and they're not very. When I looked in the window here, I know that not near shoe, but actually, it's a very similar. Concept is it, isn't it, to the um, American smoking pipes? It's the same, Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Tom Hawk, uh, yeah. What do they call the Cavalier pipes? You know, the long shank with a screw at the bottom with a little mm -hmm. like a branch coming out. Cavalier, mm. I think it's called a Cavalier. Mm -hmm. Same kind of idea, same principle. I like this pipe just as much as this one. This one's all and that's going to be more comfortable to smoke. Because mm -hmm. that's going to be a chin hanger, whereas that's always going to be pulling up because it's far away from your face. See, so, so I'm a clencher, but I really like the look of the Canadians and the yeah, uh, Canadians bats. are not very easy to buy. I like the look of them, but I don't yeah, think I'd probably enjoy smoking. Yeah. <laughs> if you like clenchers, you need to get a Costello Shape 55 GG. Well, like you're a big fat thing. I sold it. <laughs> it's like 105 grams. I think that's, that's, a that's probably the, I like the, staining. the I most quite comfortable. I have to do that staining. You know, it's it just a, I love stays that here. Red. Yeah. Yeah. Does it have something to do with the seal? Yeah. Yeah. It's some of the white, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 It's yeah. probably some Pilsen Spigot. And it's 9mm. Right. Perfect. I don't like Pilsen, so I don't I've only got one pipe that's got it. I was so reserved. I didn't want to get one for years. And in the end, because of the shape, you know, I thought, oh, I'll get one. And it took me a while to get used to it. It's a dark But it's good. It's not bad. Maybe. Try it. At least so what was that pipe? Costello. The most. I mean, you got to get used to the fact that the hole is actually on the top. Have you heard? And when you put it here, if you do it the same way as fishtail, you will block the hole. You won't be able to draw it all. That's too much. So you need to put it further in. And then yes, Costello. They're very good pipes. They're expensive. I don't. They used to have some down here. They got a batch of them. Yeah, I know. I know. And it, but with this, you need to get it. Fifty-five, which is yeah. you know, I'll I'll have to give it a go. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we call it. I call it the chin. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, it smoked great. Right? I was a bit disappointed with uh, with Aaron Moore with with this version. Years ago, I got the the square team. It was in two thousand and one or two thousand and two. The flake. And it was different, hundred percent different. Murray's and I think yeah, Murray's. Murray's. Yeah, I've got a tin of that. I didn't like it either. I've got a tin of that. But then I, I tried the mixture. I don't know. Maybe it's not. It's. I first it's got onto Aaron Moore from the mixture. This was a, a tin, an old tin, which was sent to me by um, what's his name, passed away a couple of years ago. Matches? No. Uh, my brain. Anyway, a good guy, uh, Danny Shaw. Right. So he, he sent me a tin of that aged mixture, and it was delicious. It was literally, I went through that tin in, in, in short order. So I bought a few tins of that, and I smoked. It wasn't quite the same, because it wasn't. It didn't have the age and whatever. But I enjoyed it. And I had bought the flake as well to try it, and I didn't enjoy the flake as much. Mm -hmm. But slowly, I moved over to the flake, and I, had, I don't touch the mixture anymore. And I, I really, really enjoyed the flake. The flake? Yeah. It's got a bit of a like a juicy fruit chewing gum kind of flavour to it. I mean, it's a beautiful pipe. Take take your teeth out that one. It's, ah. it's a beautiful pipe. So you didn't bring any of the nasal stuff? No. Oh, actually, I might have. This is the one. I might have. Uh, 
Is that 1792? Yeah. Yeah. I've never smoked it. Have you ever smoked it? Yeah. There is something very unique in it. Is it got a floral flavour? Yeah. It's latent. Which one? 1792? Yeah. We don't know it like this. But, but it's, it's not floral. No, no? it's. it's uh, you don't think so? I don't know what it is. It's, I, it's, it's, I can't. That, that, it, that, that, I mean, it's it's tonquin bean. Tonquin that's bean. it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. But it's not that flowery. It is it's tonquin. It is <laughs> extreme. Yes, very vanilla like. Oh, wow. And also very sweet. Certain, certain very beers. sweet. I don't have it. They use certain beers. It's <laughs> right. be. yeah. I, I think they've stopped it's using now tonquin bean. There was something about health issues with it. Oh, I love the high. The fire Okay, not too far. Down the road where the juice is natural. Yeah? And I, um, yeah, try it. Did you see that well, one? Well, they have it in that's the, uh, England. Mm. That's that's nice. And I started going because I have my nice interest in sort of things in that direction. And I, ah. what I like about them is they don't try and, you know, I would go to Moss, but I don't try and sort of like a little bit. Do you do it too? That's a nice one. It's very pleasant. That's a very pleasant one. They don't do it. It's quite you know, gritty. Next to Christian yeah. Minister here. So oh, in yeah. these things, the, be, the big yeah. ones are better. Yeah, it's quite a few with around, this, uh, yeah. they don't seal very well, I had a friend and it dries quite quickly. Yeah. But it's still, you know, it's... Uh, I went there in South London. Oh, no, it's not the church. Church. What I've got is a dark... Strange. Maybe it's a dark one. Oh, the dark one. It's like a gritty, big pieces, you know. The dark one, it's... Granular. Yeah, it's much coarser than that. Yes, yes. And oh, it's uh, uh, I'll tell you an interesting thing because I'm yeah, in the Let me get you. I need to get this in. But everyone else there only had it up one. I had it up both. But, but I do take a bit of stuff. But <laughs> my God, it was like, wow. <laughs> I wouldn't trust yeah, Mexican stuff. stuff. That just doesn't sound good. That's uh, You're such a racist. I know. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> well, I love Mexico. We're actually going to Mexico in a couple of weeks or a month or so. Mm. I've never been to Mexico. But it's still the sound of Mexican snuff sounds like something else. I hope you can handle the food, the heat. Well, I've been, spicy. We've been down there. You just don't drink the water. You really don't drink the water. <laughs> and you don't order the sauce either. I've got a sister in Mexico. So it's all washed in the water. Mm -hmm. That's fascinating. Have you been to Mexico City? No, I've got a sister living in Mexico. That's supposed to be a fascinating story. Mm. How's it going? Good. She's expecting you. What are you supposed to go to say? She is. She is. She's been out there for 10 years now. Uh, what uh, uh, about 50 cigars? I mean, imagine it'd be like, you know, because it's not going somewhere with a local. It's a niece, not a sister. Right. I've never got into cigars. But the thing is, when you go on holidays, it ain't like you got someone there and you really see the stage. And that's a wonderful experience, you know. I find that when I go there, they I always gonna, take me around and I get to see it. What you and smoke. I realise, wait a minute, if I come in, I've got too much to go. I've got so much to go. I haven't looked at the most yeah. yeah. populated <laughs> places in the world, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Mexico City, yeah. I, do, I smoke haunted yeah. books shop usually after lunch. Mexico, Athens, as well. I either smoke uh, Cordillo Morning Light, which is a good vapour. Or I smoke yeah. or Russ Alouettes, or how would you say his name, Firestorm. Yeah. Right. I like that. And then in the evening I'll smoke an English or whatever. But I have to have my papers in the morning. Is that a stand well pipe there? Yeah. 2019 is it? 17. 17. Futured or unfiltered? This is filtered. One of my best smokers. Cool. It's, it's, good. it's got a great great profile. This is a, the Cubans not taking deep draws is better. Take gentle draws, retro hell, and you get the time coming through, especially when you retro hell. Kind of all comes into focus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm still getting the time from the basal stuff. Yeah. And blow through it every so often, just purge it, push, push out, and that just gets rid of some of the spent uh, carbon. Just every so often, mm. it refreshes the flavor of it. Bit to Cuba? Mm -hmm. Bit to Cuba? Oh, okay. mm -hmm. you been? It's beautiful, great place. Oh, have I been to Cuba? Yeah. No, no, okay. they don't like Americans there. <laughs> <laughs> There's more Americans there. Plenty of Canadians, actually, there. <laughs> there were plenty of Canadians. 
he nearly got close under Obama, didn't he? Yes, he nearly had yes, <laughs> and yes. Although theoretically you had the opium of the people and the rest of it, but in reality it was a bit like a cool you know, when you think about it, National Socialism, I mean, who's going to hate Jewish people? The Roman Catholic Church. And National Socialism was basically from Bavaria and that area. And, of course, you know, forget about all the pagan stuff. That was just, forget about that. That was just Hitler's madness. But, yeah. Well, the Catholic Church has changed a little bit since then. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I would hope so. We got a good vote. Well, Vatican II, really. We got a great vote, is not it? The reason I like him is because he loves football. That's <laughs> <laughs> a good enough reason. What can you I mean soccer? soccer. <laughs> yeah, I'm not allowed to call it soccer, according to the guy at the, the Spurs fan at the Dunhill store. So I, I, he said you can't call it soccer. Who did you see that? Do you know his name? I'm a ball-headed guy. I once did a video there, a really nice video in the Donald Trump. They said I couldn't shoot it. Yeah, yeah. so I did a video there, and the guy did the, gave me a tour of the shop, showed me this amazing Namiki bike, and took me into the back and brought out old photo albums of the old store. And I took clips of it and stuff like that. And I put it up on my channel, and it was a very popular video. And a week or two later, he got in touch with me, and he said, Please do me a favor and take it down because I'm in trouble with my boss. It wasn't the ball headed guy with glasses? I can't, I've got it. It wasn't Mark Burroughs. It looks like a Spurs fan, according to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, it's been going back a few years now. And I, out of respect to him, I did. I took it down. I still got the video. And whenever he leaves, I'm going to put it back up. And he's probably not there anymore. He must have retired by now. Um, but um, they're really cool pipes they had there. So and why did they want it taken down? It's a, it's a, well, there's two things. Number one is, I suppose, a lot of shops don't like people no, seeing the layout, their stuff. Yeah. But it was more, it's more about Dunhill, the brand. Um, and the, the shop itself is a fashion shop. They have a little corner where they have a, a, a cupboard with Dunhill pipes. Um, but the Dunhill umbrella disassociated itself from tobacco a good few years ago. It's why Dunhill pipe tobacco finished. Yeah. Even though they didn't make tobacco for years, for, for decades they haven't made tobacco. It was always licensed out. But they decided even the licensing they don't want to be associated with. And that's why it's called Peterson now. Yeah. But, um, so they don't want to be associated with tobacco. And that's why they, they asked me to take the video down. Um, but I'll, I'll put it back up at some point. Well, it, well, it was a cool story, my dad. My dad had a, uh, he had a, uh, my dad was a physician. Who always used tobacco. That's why I use it. But he had a dungeon guy. And I can still remember the guy. He wore like a like a full jumpsuit kind of looking thing. He had he'd have a sit down to here with hair all over the place. Because he was like a seventies rock star. But he was the only guy that got dungeons in Middle Tennessee. We'd go over there and he had a whole wall. And this was way before the internet and everything. No yeah, way in those days, that people were fanatical about downhills and stuff like that. Not so much anymore. But in those days, in the seventies, the eighties, it was all about downhill, Chariton, Camoys. You know, these were the the pipes to have. And, and the problem is, is that my sister, my parents died, and my sister cleaned up the house, and. Sold most of the and I'm sure she didn't even know what they were worth. That's and always I, the thing. I got one. That's always the thing I say to people when they're, especially with tobacco, you're hoarding tobacco. People collect and they have literally thousands and thousands of pounds worth of tobacco, same with cigars, and chances are they're going to die before they get to smoke it at some point. Yeah. Hopefully after a long life, but at some point they're going to be stuck with it, and some and their widow or their kid kids will not know what it's about, either chuck it in the bin or they'll sell it off to the local uh, second hand shop for nothing. And that's why with my tobaccos, anything that I've got which is, I just now sold a whole shed load of my tobacco to some guy in America. Uh, the majority of my McClellan's I've just sold. You did sell them? I sold the majority of them. Yeah. Well, you I have smoke them. all links now, don't you? <laughs> No, because I'm smoking all the golden slice and, and, and maybe uh, 
vanilla roll roque most of the time. Yeah, it's really nice stuff. I kept a couple of tins of each, but that was it. You know, just to, you know, I like to have it every so often, but just to have it sitting in my cupboard. Who knows what tomorrow brings? I decided to sell it. I made some decent money on it. It's you nice know. to have some aged dough. For sure, for sure. But I, I, I'd be quite happy to have some. Uh, all the dogs I say, you know, I, it doesn't have to be no I don't mind smoking this fresh, I can carry on just with that.